going it is all the news all the time and my name as always um is adam yeah and uh we've got some interesting news today we've got a lot of interesting news actually coming out around johnny depp and the whole uh situation all sorts of situations so let's have a little look we've got uh is he still going out with joel rich we're looking at hypocrisy from hollywood no say it's not so we've got johnny depp and Rihanna. we've got johnny depp uh, defamation trial going on and we got news of the Jeff Beck and Johnny Depp tour which is today in Las Vegas Palms Casino Resort and tomorrow on the 5th of November Thousand Oaks at the Fred Cavalli Theatre Thousand Oaks Civic Arts Plaza kind of you to come back and watch some of these videos and uh, if you are new please subscribe so you don't miss another video and uh yeah let's get into it so uh the first thing we're looking at here is uh this relationship this um uh what should we call it this uh, alliance uh dalliance that's a good word is uh of oh, johnny depp and joel richie joel rich was that actually a real thing i'm not sure to be honest, whether it was actually real at all. Uh, but what they're saying, off the deep end, uh, the, off the deep end, Johnny and married British lawyers fling fizzles out as friends says, I don't think a standard committed relationship is going to be his thing. Yeah, I've heard this from like loads of my friends and they say, oh no, I'm not really in a position for like a committed relationship with this girl and I don't want to be in a committed relationship with this boy. And then the next boyfriend or girlfriend they go out with, they get married to them. So uh, I don't know, people say a lot of stuff and then they mean a lot of different things. So Johnny Depp was dating glamorous London lawyer, Joel Rich, a, a privately educated mother of two. They always say privately educated, as if that's a, a major thing. Uh, the pair were spotted casting loving glances at each other during his infamous court case in Fairfax, Virginia. But uh, Depp was missing from the scene as Rich attended a family wedding in Ibiza by herself last weekend. Very nice. We're not talking about a normal couple here. No, we're not. It's not a big, stable, committed love affair, said Depp's friend. So good news for the uh, ladies of the audience, uh, because rumours are afloat that actor Johnny Depp latest romance has fizzled out barely months after it began, supposedly during the court battle with someone. Uh, Depp was dating a London lawyer, as we know, and uh, the pair were seen shooting each other tender glances across the uh, the court case but uh, when news of the liaison broke last month it was said that they enjoyed off the scale chemistry uh, they both fancied each other however there was no sign of the actor when rich attended a family wedding in ibiza last weekend and sources in new york believe that the relationship is fizzling out and may actually already be over so there is a uh, hope for the uh, ladies in the audience right now uh, johnny depp is single and he is looking uh, to mingle it seems uh, very nice indeed so what else is going on are uh, the hypocrisy the hypocrisy of hollywood knows no limits uh, it does no no limits for some big names a comeback may seem impossible but is it and we've got uh, three chances here well, we've got two chances uh thierry Frimo must be having sleepless nights no idea who this guy is woody allen and roman polanski will both have films ready for next year's Cannes film festival while mywen labesco director of johnny depp there he is uh, forthcoming movie la favorite about louis the 15th and his mistress is often a shoe-in for a crozet appearance i think that means little cross uh, Frimo, director of the festival, will usually book them all, so will he hold his nerve and place cans in the centre of the culture wars? Well, who knows? Uh, the list goes on. Kevin Spacey was recently found not guilty of uh, sexual assault by a New York court, and his performance as Gore Vidal, the last movie he made before allegations were made against him, is sitting on a shelf at Netflix. If he is found not guilty of five further charges in London next year, and he has denied them all, might that film appear? Well, I mean, this is what a court case is for, isn't it? If he was found not guilty in a New York court, and if he's found not guilty of five further charges, well, then he's not guilty, is he? It says uh, PR veteran Mark Borkowski agrees that the bottom line eventually talks. Uh, so they're saying it's all about money. If there's jail time or outspoken victims, it'll be very hard. R. Kelly and Harvey Weinstein aren't coming back and yet Johnny Depp and Alan haven't been found guilty of or sentenced for anything. In fact the complete opposite is true. Johnny Depp won uh, on every point apart from one statement made by his lawyer which he's uh, now challenging 
and uh, will probably win because of a vicarious liability principle and um, because he's not liable for the statements made by an attorney because they're independent contractors um, yeah so he won everything apart from something someone else said which is you know so he hasn't done anything he hasn't lost anything uh, and so Depp and Alan haven't been found guilty of anything social media is torn over Depp which I find very strange when you win a trial completely unanimously and you're still guilty I found that bizarre especially TikTok well that, that explains a lot of stuff but 18 to 30 year olds aren't the Depp or Alan audience um, maybe, maybe. Uh, I think when they bring out another Pirates of the Caribbean 6, um, I suspect older audiences will give them a chance if the work's good. Action here, it's saying, uh, this is from Ian Nathan. Uh, he's saying, Depp, meanwhile, lost one defamation case against ex wife AH in Britain. Well, yeah, he didn't really lose it against her because she didn't actually appear or need to provide evidence and she was not questioned. Um, but yeah, he lost one defamation case against the Sun newspaper in Britain and won one in America where she was questioned and was dropped in the process from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. His superstar status, that's a lot of S's, uh, and billion dollar franchise, says uh, good old Ian, are behind him. I would question that statement myself. He's like Morrissey, whose fans don't care about his dubious statements and carry on buying his albums. Yeah, I'm seeing too much of this from people like Nathan, where they tie two people like Morrissey and Johnny Depp together, as if they're the same thing. I don't know uh, the Ian Morrissey or whoever he is, the uh, Morrissey uh, situation or circumstance, but I can guarantee that it's not precisely the same as the Johnny Depp circumstance. And I've seen it in other articles, tying together really dodgy people and trying to smear by association. Uh, I mean, you can do it all the time. You can say, um, he's like Adolf Hitler whose fans don't care about him. You can just tie two people together and it's it's not right. It's not, you know, fair. Uh, Ian Nathan goes on to say, he's like Morrissey, whose fans don't care about his dubious statements and carry on buying his albums. Uh, Johnny Depp is still punk rock and he could make it back to Hollywood if he stars in a brilliant European art house hit. Well, you're sort of saying two different things there, uh, my friend Ian. You're saying his superstar status and billion dollar franchise are behind him. Uh, which is one statement, uh, but yet he could make it back to Hollywood if he stars in a European hit. So uh, either he's, he's not or he is. I don't know. Uh, good old Nathan making no sense as always. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't talk to Nathan very much. So there you go. There's a lot of other stuff here. It goes on about uh, Will Smith and various other people on redemption arcs, they like to call it. But um, it just does seem difficult to argue the point that a person who wins a court case and proves that allegations against them are false, should then be banned from um, not functioning as a society. That's exactly what court cases are for, to prove the veracity of, uh, of statements. So, uh, yeah, hypocrisy at its finest from Hollywood. You do surprise me. You do surprise me. So what have we got today? Uh, Cosmopolitan, <laughs> that, uh, that bastion of truth and justice and uh, and quality what are johnny depp and rihanna doing together well who knows uh, i don't that's what up to them isn't it um but until now it was only rumored but now it is certain johnny depp will appear at rihanna's november fashion show savage x fenty according to the uh, article it said that uh, it is understood that the singer's fans are not too thrilled yeah this is what we call cherry picking when you choose um comments from thousands and you pretend that those are the comments that are predominant or the uh, most important. Um, but yeah, they're saying it's understood. The thing is, fans are not too thrilled. According to them, the actor was not necessarily an ideal choice. The actor's official sources have already confirmed Johnny Depp will attend the fashion show as a surprise guest and has already actually filmed the segment. Johnny will be the first man to represent Rihanna's underwear and will he will march alongside celebrities such as Cara Delevingne whew, and Irina Shaikh. Shaik. Uh, Depp's public appearance is most likely part of the actor's rehabilitation. Uh, this is sort of like a, an implication that there's some sort of controlling hand here. 
um, and there's some sort of uh, background agenda or plot but I don't think that's the case. Um, they're saying Depp's public appearance likely part of the actor's rehabilitation since his career suffered a lot in the past uh, due to his fight with his ex-wife. The lawsuit ultimately ended in Johnny's favour. Oh, they must have uh, had gritted teeth when they had to write that. Uh, but Rihanna's fans aren't convinced that the actor is a good choice. However, Rihanna is, and Rihanna is very happy with it. And uh, you must remember Rihanna's past for the photos but Rihanna suffered domestic abuse at the hands of Chris Brown this guy here so she's very aware of domestic abuse and how it happens and how it works and she donated 4.2 million dollars to LA domestic violence victims so to assume that Rihanna doesn't know what's going on and is unaware of this or isn't making a statement is I think a bit naive. Rihanna knows exactly what happened in the Johnny Depp trial. She knows that he is a victim of domestic abuse and he is making a clear statement, oh sorry, she is making a, compl a clear statement that she believes him. We will believe you. She believes that he is a domestic violence survivor or he suffered domestic violence at the hands of Amber Heard. And uh, she's in a position where she has suffered that herself and she's making a statement to the world that, uh, that it's wrong and it's outrageous and it happens to men as well. When you ask the question, what are Johnny Depp and Rihanna doing together? Um, the answer is they're making a statement. They are making a statement that domestic abuse is wrong and it happens to men as well. That's what is going on in my personal opinion. So what else is going on? We have uh, Johnny Depp trying to overturn the defamation charges that he owes Amber Heard. Again, the way this has been spun by Cosmopolitan. If you read this title, um, you would think he lost. Johnny Depp files to overturn defamation damage charges that he owes Amber Heard. It's, it's outrageous how this has been twisted to represent the exact opposite of reality. He won. She owes him 8.35 million. He owes, she owes her lawyers another 15 million. She is now homeless, stateless, on the run, in hiding. God knows where. Spain, London, somewhere. And Johnny Depp is on stage selling out tours all over the world. But according to Cosmo, Johnny Depp is filing to overturn the damages that he owes Amber Heard. Now you might say um, this just is you know presenting the facts in a different way. I would say it's, it's blatantly lying. That's what I would say. Uh, but then I would. So and it's only down here you realize that he might have actually won. They don't say that and you have to read the whole thing and you have to work it out in your head anyway. Most people won't even get to this point. But uh, the twisting, the twisting from these people um, so yeah, down here it says the verdict meant the Depp was awarded 15 million. This is like right down here before you actually realise. In total, broken down as 10 million, 8.3 compensatory, 5 million punitive, AH was awarded 2 million in compensatory damages, and it's very likely that she's going to lose that uh, 2 million win anyway because it's based on bad law. So. I don't know what's going on with uh, Cosmo. I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them in terms of truth. Uh, again, from CNN, another article uh, pushing this uh, Johnny Depp is a bad guy, even though he won his uh, law case and trial. So you've got more uh, bias from CNN and Cosmo, uh, which is you know appalling, to be honest. Uh, looking at deadline now, Johnny Depp appeals the erroneous two million trial win for Amber Heard. Pirates and the Aquaman stars head back to court for more battle in defamation case. This is a more balanced and equal uh, headline. Johnny Depp wants his defamation cake and he wants to eat it too. Yeah, in this case, I think the problem is you're not going to. Sorry, Johnny Depp's not going to get the money, even if he wins. Uh, she hasn't got the money to uh, pay him. 
as I was always taught in my uh, law class when I was uh, studying law, uh, never sue someone if they haven't got any money. Uh, that was like rule number one. <laughs> just, don't, just don't do it. Uh, this court should reverse the judgment on Ms. Hurd's counterclaim as to the April 27th Waldman statement, but should otherwise affirm the judgment in Mr. Depp's favour. Uh, that's what their pleading indicates. Uh, despite almost sweeping the table earlier this summer in the defamation trial against his rum diary co-star and former spouse, uh, Depp is determined to not pay her the two million. Well, he doesn't have to pay her two million, does he? Because he's, uh, he's owed eight. 0.3 million from her uh, that a Virginia jury oddly awarded him uh, in a counter suit uh, counter suit claim so there you go the Aquaman star claimed that Depp was vicariously liable for a trio of damaging and defamatory statements uh, and she lost two of those uh, but the statements were made by uh, Adam Waldman uh, gave to a UK tabloid uh, which called AH's allegations of violence and abuse at Depp's hands often allegedly drunken hand were hogwash uh, specifically an April 27th article where Waldman characterised Amber Heard's account of an alleged domestic violence incident as a hoax. Um, yeah, I have my own beliefs on that and I think we shall find out what the truth is very soon. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, we're looking at the tour. Uh, there's the tour today on the 4th of November. It is the 4th today and it's in Las Vegas, the Palms Casino Resort. Can you buy tickets? Nope, they're all sold out and uh, there's only resale and they're really expensive. Uh, but tomorrow, maybe, the 5th of November at Thousand Oaks at the Fred Cavalli Theatre, Thousand Oaks Civic Arts Plaza. Sounds great to me. Where is that? That is down here and we are in uh, Oaks, California. And this is, this is the place where you want to be. And uh, here's like a closer map. I'll zoom out a touch. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. We are, where are we? We are off the coast of uh, America. There's Los Angeles. Uh, watch out if there's an earthquake. Could be a problem. And uh, we zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And we end up here. And if I uh, flick, uh, get my guy out of the way. If I grab my little guy, I think it's here in the Fred Cavalli Theatre. If I drop him here, uh, you can see uh, we're in a bit of a car park, it looks like. Oh, yeah. So there's, um, you can do your parking there. You've got a parking structure. And um, what does that say? Upper level, upper level clearance, 6 foot 10. Uh, I'll be all right. I'm 6 foot 1. And um, let's have a look down here. All right, let's not. <laughs> I think it's up here. Um, watch out for those things. I think, let's have a look. Um, no, I might be wrong. So you've got a little car park here. What's that say? City Hall. Okay, what's this? City Hall, blah, blah, blah. Theatre box of familiar rooms. Ah, okay, so if you're going to the theatre, you need to use this thing. A giant flag. And uh, what does this say? Unauthorized vehicles, not displaying placards, will be towed. Okay, so don't don't be in there. I think it's in a city hall, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you uh, you find tomorrow here. This should be good. And I think that's about everything we've got today. Let's have a little recap. We've got uh, Johnny Depp has broken up with uh, Joel Rich. So uh, there's a chance for all the ladies out there. We've got Hollywood being hypoc uh, hypocrites. No, could it be so? Uh, what are Johnny and uh, Rihanna doing together, according to Cosmo? Lies. And uh, Cosmo lying again. We've got uh, CNN lying. We've got uh, Deadline telling the truth about stuff. And we've got the tour going on. So there you go. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, yep, there's Super Thanks. And there's Join the Membership. Join the Membership, that'd be great. And uh, I think that's about everything. I will see you guys later.